what is the output of this java program well here is a main method within that two string objects are created first s1 string object is created using string literal and this hello you know value will be stored in a string constant pool next string object s2 is created using new keyword and this hello value will be stored in a heap memory next s2 equal to s2 dot intern so this intern method will get called on a s2 object and this s2 object is created using new keyword okay so this intern method basically create the exact copy of you know s2 object that is present in heap memory and it will store that object into string constant pool it means the s1 and s2 both reference variables are pointing to the same value that is hello in a string constant pool next system dot of println s1 equal equals to s2 so this equal equal operator we use to compare two reference variables and now the s1 and s2 both are pointing to the same string object in a string constant pool this should return the true if i run this program you can see the output true what is the output of this java program well here is a main class within that main method within that string s1 equal to hello this s1 is assigned to a string literal hello in a string constant pool next string s2 equal to new string hello so here string two object is created explicitly using new keyword and this hello value will be stored in a heap memory next string s3 equal to hello and again s3 is assigned to a string literal hello in a string constant pool next if s1 equal equals to s2 the s1 is pointing to a string literal hello in a string constant pool and s2 is pointing to a hello object in a heap memory that's why both are pointing to a different memory locations so this should fail and print s1 and s2 are not equal so s1 is equal equal to s3 it this condition should true and it will print s1 and s3 equals for example if i run this program so this equal equal operator is used to compare two references that are pointing to the same string literal in the constant pool what is the output of this java program so here is a main class within that main method which is the entry point of the java program within the main method string s1 equal to new string value 5 next the expression is passed to system dot of print ln statement so before evaluating this expression you need to understand two things first is from which side we need to start evaluating this expression either from left side or right side so remember in java we should start evaluating the expression from left to right second thing is we need to check whether this expression contains a string or not in case of string the plus operator indicates the concatenation all right so let us start evaluating this expression from left to right 1 plus 10 so these are the two numbers let us do the addition 1 plus 10 l1 l1 plus yes yes is a string that contains a value for you so let us do the concatenation l1 s next the result contains again the string so let us do the concatenation l1 s1 and again result contains a string let us do the concatenation l1 s1 10 so if I run this program, you can see the output L1 for you 110. What is the output of this Java program? Well, this kind of simple coding questions you may get in a Java interviews. So here is a main class within that uh, main method, which is the entry point of this program. Within a main method, string S1 is assigned to a string literal value 1. Next, the concat method is called on S1 with the value 2. However, the result of this concat method is not assigned back to the S1. Well, we know that in Java, strings are immutable. So the result of this concat method is not assigned back to S1. That's why the original value of this S1 is not modified. Similarly, the concat method is called on S1 with the value 3. However, the result of this concat method is not assigned back to S1. That's why the original value of S1 is not modified. And here system dot out print ln S1. So S1 contains the original value 1. Okay. If I run this program, you can see the output 1. So basically this concat method does not modify the original string. It concatenate the provided string. 